Corey Sturmer. And he's the only other person who has signed up. Hi, I'd like to respond to the Orange County Health Director Colleen Bridger's recent response to some September petitions against public water fluoridation. To summarize, Colleen recommended and endorsed the idea that the Orange Water and Sewer Authority should continue drugging the population of Orange County through their water supply. Previously, I had written Colleen directly and told her in no uncertain terms that I happen to know for a fact where the propaganda concerning the safety and efficacy of fluoridation comes from. However, this did not keep her from from submitting to us the very propaganda which I had preemptively pointed out has been used ad nauseum by the government for the last 60 years. Safe and effective, safe and effective, safe and effective. Colleen seems to think she can just repeat this mantra often enough and we will just magically believe it. The irony, of course, is that not even the Federal Drug Administration has ever approved ingested fluoride as being safe and effective for preventing tooth decay, yet Colleen and Orange County persist. What is an even bigger joke is that Colleen, in all of her officialdom, actually believes that such a scripted response psychologically works anymore when the truth about this policy is readily available to any thinking person on the World Wide Web. She says in her last paragraph, the health department can miss important health issues affecting our community and need active residents like you to make sure we are always staying on top of the myriad health th uh, threats that we face. I will continue to monitor the emerging research on the health effects of fluoridation. Uh, and if I see any reason to revisit this recommend recommendation, I assure you I absolutely will. Well, Colleen, you don't need to monitor the emerging research because it has already emerged. I spoke and wrote specifically about the precautionary principle, which states if there is a lack of scientific consensus that a particular policy is not harmful, then such a policy should be abandoned immediately. I then submitted several pieces of said research which, which would inform any individual with an average intelligence quotient the irrefutable proofs needed to demonstrate a lack of scientific consensus that this is not a harmful policy. Therefore, the response from Colleen should have been much simpler, like, thanks, Corey, you're correct. We're going to stop Awasa from fluoridating the water immediately. The Orange County Health Director instead relied on, um, instead of relying on peer-reviewed and respected publications like Harvard, The Lancet, and even the Center for Disease Control study on dental fluorosis depended on nebulous endorsements by the American Dental Association retired Professor Gary Rozier and Dr. Cummings of the Health and Human Services to justify her recommendation. The very same ilk I identified beforehand as being the ones who would supply the pro fluoride propaganda which was eventually shoveled to us. Who, sh who is she and vicariously you kidding with this crap. Colleen made no effort whatsoever to actually address with any specificity the statements made or questions posed in the 16 minutes of per petitions presented last month. Furthermore, she did what is so typical of government bureaucracies these days, offload the burden of proof onto some other agency. In this case, she relieves her, herself of any actual liability by pointing to the infamous Awasa board, who it was at the center of this debate last year when many other Orange County citizens had brought this issue to their attention. They, too, deferred to other state bureaucracies to avoid liability. In case Colleen and the Board of Commissioners are not aware, several of us have already spent an inordinate amount of our personal time trying desperately to capture the attention of the dumbed-down, corrupt, corrupt Awasa board until it culminated last year in a hearing where Awasa's own agent admitted on recorded video that they sourced fluoride from the wet scrubbers of a fertilizer plant in western North Carolina. If Awasa was not compromised, do you honestly think we would be here before you today? Give him a minute. We deserve, deserve a public referendum. The response from Colleen was pathetic, and I appreciate your consideration. Thank you, sir. Uh, is there anyone else who wishes to speak to a matter that's not on the printed agenda? As Mr. O'Leary knows, if we have a petition, we refer it uh, to agenda review, and we come back with a response. I will say that uh, our referral to the uh, health director <coughs> was a recognition of what we mentioned last time, which is that the county commissioners have no control over anybody's water treatment plant or water supply, uh, and that it might be more appropriate to direct your comments or request for a public hearing to the Board of Health. But we'll discuss that and get back to you.